Two decades ago, the world was captivated by the mysterious disappearance of newlyweds David and Lisa during what was supposed to be the happiest time of their lives, their honeymoon. The case went cold, leaving their families and the public bewildered and haunted by countless unanswered questions. But then, out of the blue, a woman claiming to be Lisa emerged, ready to reveal the unbelievable truth behind their vanishing act. As she stepped into the dimly lit room, she hesitated, her eyes betraying a storm of emotions. What on earth had happened to Lisa and David on their honeymoon? Country officials were shocked by what almost seemed like her resurrection. They were astounded by her arrival, as the woman she claimed to be was presumed dead. However, taking one look at her 20-year-old passport photo, they could clearly see that it was indeed her, only slightly aged and more tanned. When she started speaking, they also noticed how her English had begun to falter, almost as if she hadn't spoken the language for a long time. Nevertheless, as she recounted what had happened to her and her husband, the officials knew they had to act. How had she gone undetected for all those years? Where was David? And most importantly, how had they survived all those years? Twenty years ago, after David and Lisa's marriage, they decided to take a beautiful South American honeymoon. They had always heard about the beauty of the Amazon forest and wanted to see it in person. They had the time of their lives there, taking a sightseeing tour every single day. However, it wasn't long before disaster struck. The morning had started like any other, but when their tour guide was waiting in front of their cabin, the wait was exceptionally long. Robert knew that something was wrong and was quick to call property security. They were shocked when they finally opened the door, fearing what they might see inside. There was no one there. It was as if they had never even gone to bed. They knew they had to alert David and Lisa's families of their predicament. After they notified their families, they deployed rescue units to help search for the couple. Special units had gone into the jungle, and helicopters had flown overhead for weeks, but with no sign of life, despair soon took over. The care packages they had dropped were all left untouched, and David and Lisa were proclaimed dead. Some family members started to create conspiracy theories, stating that they had left the place in too good a condition. It was as if they had vanished, two lovers lost to the wind, unable to ever be found. Though to them, not much could be found. Even twenty years after their loss, the pain still remained. Though Lisa's mother had never gotten over her daughter's death, she had tried to go on with her life regardless. Everything she owned reminded her of her only daughter. Lisa's mother had nearly gotten a heart attack with the news, hinching herself on the arm to ensure it wasn't a dream. When Lisa came back to civilization, they had all questioned the validity of her statement, but when they saw the passport photo, they were sure. Lisa's English had worsened over the years. She could hardly tell them what had happened to her. It was as if she hadn't practiced English for years, maybe even decades. Lisa was frustrated by her nearly forgotten English as the government officials told them that she would show them what had happened. With every word she uttered, it became apparent how long she'd been away from civilization. We walk, she started, her voice shaky. Night beautiful. David and me wanted to see stars. She clenched her hands, frustration evident, trying to pull words from a language she barely recognized anymore. The couple, intoxicated by the natural beauty of the Amazon and the allure of their recent vows, ventured out of their cabin. They had assumed that they knew their way, that nature in all its grandeur was inviting them deeper. Their trust in their own sense of direction would be their downfall. But as dawn approached, the enveloping jungle around them became a maze they hadn't anticipated. Morning light pierced through the dense canopy. Every tree looked the same, every pathway seemed to lead them deeper into the heart of the unknown. As they wandered near the cabin, the forest beckoned with its secrets. Mysterious rustlings, the echoing calls of distant animals, and a chorus of chirping insects filled the air. The vastness of the jungle loomed around them, making every direction look eerily similar. Days turned into nights and back into days, with their voices growing hoarse as they screamed out for any sign of help. After listening to her efficiently and with haste, the officials began to gather supplies. Medical kits packed with bandages, antiseptics, and emergency medication were prepared. 
Rations and fresh water, satellite phones, and sturdy mat sheets were all made ready for the unknown journey ahead. Lisa, though still struggling with her memories and language, tried to guide their preparations. With supplies packed and resolves steeled, the group began their trek into the dense forest. Each step they took was into an ever-deepening puzzle, with Lisa as the only guide. The expanse of the jungle stretched out as far as the eye could see. Towering trees, dense underbrush, and the cacophony of unseen animals emphasized the enormity of the terrain. The officials felt the weight of the wilderness, realizing they were mere specks in this vast, uncharted realm. As the landscape around them grew wilder, so did Lisa. Her steps became more assured, her eyes sharper. The hesitant, fractured English speaker began to move with an ease that belied her years of isolation in this environment. Her instincts and deep connection to the jungle were evident, commanding respect from the officials. As night descended, the team set up camp. The symphony of the jungle, chirping crickets, distant roars, and rustling leaves played around them. With dawn, Lisa took the lead, her pathfinding skills coming to the forefront. She navigated the dense forest with an uncanny sense of direction, identifying landmarks and retracing steps she had once taken. Each evening, as they settled by the fire, the group was wrapped in a mix of exhaustion and expectation. The deeper they ventured, the more they felt the weight of the impending unknown. Each day brought a new challenge, testing their endurance and adaptability. As days melded into one another, the air grew thick with unease. Every misplaced step, every misunderstood gesture intensified the strain. This would be their last night before reaching the place Lisa had indicated, and the aura of the unknown was more potent than ever. As night deepened, a faint rhythmic sound echoed through the trees. A distant melody, tribal and ancient, wafted towards them, carried by the gentle wind. The soft thud of distant drums, the hum of voices, it all pointed toward the presence of a tribe. Hope surged within the group. Could this be where David was? It wasn't the natural light of a campfire, but something otherworldly. The sight both enthralled and mystified the team. What could be the source of such an unusual luminescence? As the dense trees gave way to an opening, the group found themselves suddenly encircled by tribespeople. Painted faces and elaborate adornments stared intently at them, weapons poised. A soft murmur arose as one of the tribespeople stepped forward, eyes locked onto Lisa. Their stern expressions melted into smiles as they approached her, touching her shoulder gently. It was evident they shared a profound bond. Lisa nodded in acknowledgement, the weight of her leadership clear. It became unmistakably evident that Lisa was no stranger to these people. Under the protective wing of the tribe, the group journeyed deeper into the jungle. Thatched huts, children playing, and the hum of daily life welcomed them. The heart of the tribe lay before their eyes, a testament to a life lived in harmony with nature. Communication proved challenging. The tribe's language was a melodic mix of clicks, tones, and gestures, entirely alien to the officials. Lisa acted as a bridge, translating where she could. However, the depth of understanding between her and the tribe was evident, suggesting she had been with them for quite some time. The day ended with a newfound respect and hope for the next steps in their journey. In the heart of the tribal village, inside a prominently placed hut, they found David. Lisa ran to him, their embrace a powerful testament to their enduring love. As days turned into nights, tales of the past twenty years unfolded. They spoke of initial fears, survival challenges, and the gradual formation of trust between them and the tribe. The tribe had saved them, taught them their ways, and in return, Lisa and David shared knowledge from the world they had left behind. The tribe had become their sanctuary, a haven where they experienced a profound sense of belonging. With the aid of a linguist, more details surfaced. It wasn't just a tale of survival, but also one of choice. While the tribe was initially wary of outsiders, Lisa and David's genuine interest in their ways bridged the divide. Over time, they chose to stay, valuing the peace and purity of the life they discovered. However, David's deteriorating health, a condition unknown to the tribe, had forced Lisa to seek the outside world's assistance. Upon thorough examination, the medical personnel recognized the symptoms of a disease that modern medicine could address. They quickly assembled a makeshift treatment area, administering the necessary medications. 
As the days passed and David's condition began to stabilize, Lisa's gratitude was evident. However, the realization was clear. They had built a life amidst the tribe, and returning to the modern world was a decision not easily made. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family to spread the enjoyment. Take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.